Hello, and welcome to my over collection, I guess you could say. Um, we, I just wanted to give you a little a sneak peek into what we are decluttering today. Since I did my lip stuff a couple videos ago, I think I'm going to go over some face stuff because like honestly this drawer is just overwhelming and I know there's some stuff in here that I can get rid of. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to flip you guys back around to my tabletop and let's get to throwing shit out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and welcome back to decluttering my shit with me. Today we're going to work on I think face products basically the first two drawers that I just showed you in that last clip so let's get to it okay so off the top these things um I got them on Amazon and I hate them I I used them a couple times and the first time I was like I like them I don't like these they're going in the garbage um okay so let's do I'm gonna do the eye pencils first I just wanted to get those other sponges out of the way and then we will tackle the um primers and stuff because that the primers are are bad and i need to really go through those um this is something that's staying it's an elf eyebrow pencil this is the nyx eyebrow pencil and taupe i also use that pencil sharpener is making a mess um also keeping that because it's just a pencil sharpener you know um trying to figure out the best there we go these color pop things they're like little um stamps for your face keeping those i use them quite a bit i'm gonna get rid of this because it's at its end and i just it's dried out i lost the cap we don't need it let's throw her out okay um this is a white eyeliner by nyx oh that's really dried out yeah we're gonna get rid of that too Okay, this is a purple pencil. I use this quite a bit, so this is also staying. Um, this is like my favorite eyeliner, black eyeliner. It's the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner that's staying. Super good uh, liquid eyeliner by Pat McGrath. This is also like super black. It's really, it's a felt tip. It's one of my favorites. This one is NARS. This is really good for like flicking out wings. Like mm, that's a good one, keeping that. So let's see what else. Um, Wet and Wild. I think this is the Breakup Proof Eyeliner. Ugh. She's black. I'm gonna keep that one. This is just some brow glue staple keeping that this is um anastasia pomade also keeping that another pencil sharpener we're going to keep that this is a double of the pat mcgrath because they sent me two uh this is a nyx it's like a light oh look at that that's almost the same color as my skin i use this as my under eye liner and i like it this one is also by NYX, um, but it's super crumbly and it's seen better days. So, see you later, alligator. Um, these are just some spoolie brushes that I'm not going to get rid of because they're spoolies and you can always use a spoolie. This is like the best drugstore eyeliner. Oh, oh shit, do you see that? you see that I bent all the bristles? I'm probably not going to get rid of this now. Um, it's so fine. It like, I just, it's so easy to work with. It's so fine. And I'm so pissed that I did that. I'm going to get rid of it because it's not good now. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, this is a, oh, this is my favorite elf eyebrow brush. It's, um, pencil. Anastasia 
brow gel. Also really like that one. Um, oh, this is really good liquid eyeliner. This is one of my favorites. It's the Essence Precise Liner. This is the closest thing that I could find to the NYX liner that I loved that they discontinued. Rude NYX. Uh, this is the Rare Beauty line, liner. This is like a calligraphy pen. So smooth. Also staying. Um, this brown eyeliner, I'm going to use it till there's nothing left for me to use. Uh, this is just a white eyeliner for my under eyes. It's the only white that I have, so we're going to continue to use that. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Ink Liner. This is, I wanted this to be good. I don't like this. I'm going to throw this out. Kat Von D. Oldie buddy goodie, or KVD now. That's also staying. Uh, and then these are... Let me just check and make sure that they're, yeah, good. Still good. These are just some colorful liners that I like to, I don't ever use that blue though. It's like, there's glitter in that. I shouldn't use that. Look at that. That's pretty. We're going to keep it. Sorry, that one was uneventful because... I literally use all those eyeliners all the time. Okay, so let's talk primers. I have a ton of primers, and this is where I want to make my most progress. So I have my primers. They're supposed to be separated by the type of priming that I'm doing, which is like pore filling and illuminizing, basically. So... So there's stuff in here, obviously, that I don't use. Um, I've never even used this, so I don't want to get rid of it. It's hydrating. Like, of course I want a hydrating primer. This I don't like. It makes my makeup break up, so I'm burn that out. This I don't use enough because I don't moisturize here in my office. I moisturize at my bathroom. So I'm not going to get rid of this. It's not bad. I'm just... Um, gonna move it to a location where I'll use it more basically uh this is at the end of its life I use the rest of this today and I hate this this is not a good pore filling primer it's pretty much empty uh, it smells good but like that's really the only plus on this don't like it throwing it out this however the L'Oreal perfecting base guys if you want a drugstore pore filling primer this stuff is so good it's like putty but it makes your skin look like silky perfect uh this also every time i use it i just love it we're keeping it um this is also really good milani pours no more keeping that um this is a chapstick this doesn't even go in here i was really impressed by this this is the once i secure the blur primer i really like this and this is a blur stick by Revolution Pro. I've only used it once, but I didn't like it. It's really hard, like super uncomfortable on the face. So to the trash. And then this one also really not that great, but I'm so close to finishing it that I'll just make this the primer to use for the next couple times to get through it. It just doesn't fill my pores the way I like it to. So cutthroat and I did a good job. We got rid of stuff. Yes. Okay, let's move on to, this is supposed to be like illuminating primers. Um, so let's hustle through these. This is the Lorac Pro Skin Matte Primer. Um, it's basically silicone and I hate this. So we're throwing that out. Okay, so Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use this all the time. Keeping it. Vive Skin Dew. Also use this all the time. This is beautiful. Keeping it. Right next to Vive is this Say Illuminizing Gel. This is probably my favorite out of all of my illuminating primers uh, from Sephora. From the drugstore, it's e.l.f. This is the best illuminating primer I've ever used from the drugstore. This is... Did I even remember... Let's see. 
this on and see if I remember. It's the Well People Bio Brightener Priming Serum. Let's see. I don't know how. Okay. Used kind of a lot. <laughs> um, while that dries down, I'm going to quickly... Away We Glow NYX Drops. I've been using these for so long and this is at the end of its life, but I will carry it through. Um, also from the drugstore, this used to be my favorite glowy primer from the drugstore. This is a L'Oreal Glotion. I'm not getting rid of this, but this has replaced that. Um, but either of those, if you guys want from the drugstore, are really good. And then this... These are the Brightening Youth Glow Brightening Color Correcting Glow Primer by Charlotte Tilbury. I was using this for a long time. I don't remember if I like this. Hang on. Well, let these both kind of dry down. Oh, this is way thicker. Okay, and in the meantime, let's know. Oh, God damn, you see that? Oh, we're keeping that. That's so pretty. Oh, yeah, that's keeping. That's Charlotte Tilbury. That's going. This did nothing. To the trash. Look at that, guys. Hopefully, I'll be able to close this drawer now. Oh, wow. I'm impressed with that well people one. Oh, I want to reach for that a lot now. This is all makeup sponges. I use all of these and like all of these, so I'm going to just keep those. You saw me throw away the ones earlier. And then last but not least for the top drawer, I have my like lip stuff. Uh, this is the best lip product, like lip balm that I've ever used in my entire life. This is the Laneige one. It's not that great, but I paid for it and I just, I'm not going to get rid of this. It's lip balm, like, um, these are pretty good. I don't like the pink one. I think I don't like the smell of this one. No, wait, no, no. I do like the smell of this one. It's this one, but it's almost done. I can get through this. I'm not going to get rid of this because I can get through this pretty quickly because I use lip balm. I drink like lip balm like I drink water basically. Um, the Skittles one. I'm going to throw this out. I don't really like it. These Revolution Pro. I'm still like shocked by this primer. This Revolution Pro is like... Ew. Why is it, like, bunching? Nope, getting rid of it. Uh, this one is the same. It's, like, kind of gross. I don't know if I like this. This one's not that bad. I don't like the color, though. I'm just going to get rid of it because I'm not going to use it. Uh, this is a lip oil that I used to use all the time. And these Glow Recipe uh, lip balm. It's like one of those pH ones. It like changes on your lips, but it doesn't really moisturize. It smells good, but it has, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't really like this. I never really liked that. I've had it for a few years, so we can get rid of it. Hey, hey. Guys, when I film these declutters, I am ruthless. You can't tell me nothing. Are you ready? Are you ready for this one? Are you are you ready for this? So this is going to be mascaras, concealers and foundations and powders. Um so let's start with powders, these powders. Uh I use all four of these powders pretty often. I just switch between them. Okay, so there is one powder. This Kosas Air Cloud powder. Um, this is on the chopping block. If I don't like this by the end of October or September, I'm going to completely declutter that because I don't know why people like this powder. I cannot get it to work for me. I don't know if it's if I have dry skin. Who knows, but I hate it. Um, and then... I guess I'll just do foundations for now because this is like a bulk. This is taking up the most space. 
so this is all concealers and this one's supposed to be in here i don't have that many concealers i have one two three four five concealers six concealers i use and interchange all of these concealers so these are not going anywhere sorry these um are all concealers that i recommend and like let's do some foundation here i am gonna get rid of this nars i think hang on this is the natural radiant longwear foundation by nars um i'm gonna keep this because i just got this and i think i really enjoyed the way that this looked on my skin blended out so we're going to keep that one okay so this is definitely staying this is the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation i have this on my face today i really like this foundation i highly recommend it i can't recommend these more uh this one is empty i think i have one more use out of this these are um i think i've i, I panned it <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of it but i feel like can you hear it i'm just gonna go we're gonna stick with this one since i have a backup anyway um these foundations are all staying because they're like one of my favorite foundations but it's the different shades that i am so it's like winter fall and summer uh these are super good foundations if you guys are interested in these i use them all the time this foundation this is the anastasia foundation um in 160c let me see um okay i'm gonna get rid of this it's really old and this bottle leaks it's just not worth it for me to keep it i have to always worry about if it's standing upright this is such a good foundation this is staying this is the pure foreign one selfie foundation it's pretty cool the applicator because like you can take it out or you can pump it. I love this foundation. This is in the color LP4. When this runs out, I'm buying another one. And then these two. Um, I picked these up at Walmart one day. These are the Oma Beauty Flawless and Real Life Skin Perfecting Foundation. God, these are so pretty. Um, beautiful foundation. Looks like skin, sets down beautifully these are staying um and then last but not least we have rare beauty let me see no 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 i like this one i remember it like blends out beautifully okay this is staying too so you know i'm okay with getting rid of some i'm like cleansing my space here okay so next up in the drawers is under eye powders and trial size powders and mascaras i'll leave mascara so like the end because that's the most uh powders i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't think i'm gonna get rid of any of these because i'm still using all of these uh pat mcgrath labs and laura mercier brightening powders for your under eyes Whew. These, these are my favorites. Uh, I can't not do those. This is the only thing that I hate about this. I like this powder. This is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake. I hate the applicator. Like, what is this? I hate this. So, I'm not going to get rid of it because it's a good powder, but I just hate the applicator. Um, this is a super good powder. I just never bit the bullet and bought the big one because it's big expensive. So, keeping that. And then, oh, I don't like this one. This is Rodal Baking Powder. I, sometimes I like this, sometimes I don't like this. Like, a couple times I put this under my under eyes and it makes them look like, like, crusty, like, old tortillas. And we don't like that. It's not worth my time to have this, so we'll get rid of it. And then Charlotte Tilbury. Also just a good, this is a face powder, but it's big expensive. So Heather has the little one so she doesn't have to spend 
all of her money on powders. And then this is just a little puff to put that on. So yeah, that's, that's my powders. Let's move on to look how messy we are. Welcome to the shit show that is mascaras. I love mascara. I love all makeup, let's be honest. Um, so let's get through this. I This is Voluminish Lash Paradise. This is still new. I'm going to keep this one. Guys, this is my new like favorite drugstore mascara. It's got a big plastic wand, but the formula on this is so good. It separates so well. So this is absolutely staying. Um, oldie but a goodie. Also, like just a uh, good, reliable mascara. It superhero. I love this mascara. Um, these two are new to me, kind of. The Tarte Tubing Mascara and the Extended Giga Extended Play Gigaback. <laughs> Look, wait, one more time. Extended Play Giga Black Lash. These are super good under eye lash, like the lower lash line mascaras. Those are staying. Eyelash curler is obviously staying. Uh, this is just this brush. I don't have anything like it. It's a L'Oreal Telescopic. When I just wear like mascara, this is what I wear. I love this brush. It separates not going nowhere this is a heated lash mascara um i just wanted to try it i actually like it so we're keeping that uh this mascara i don't like this we're gonna get rid of this this like low i'm not even gonna explain myself i just don't like it it's the l'oreal paris unlimited mascara it's like i don't care that the brush does this i never used the brush for this so we're just gonna let her go. I don't really like that mascara. Um, also don't like this mascara. Airplay. It's too wet. And I don't like the brush on this. So. See you later, alligator. This is not going anywhere. This is like a staple. If you just like voluminous. Like if you pair these two together, forget it. Your lashes look so good. Um... This is Pat McGrath Labs Mascara. I only used this once and I actually liked it. It's a little sample. So we keep a natch. This is a lash primer. This is new. I still haven't, I use it like once or twice. So I don't want to like give up on it completely, but I just, this will be on the chopping block too. Cause if I don't use it, then it's going. Sky High, I really like. This is a good mascara like plastic thin wand good for separating your lashes staying thrive mascara okay uh these two mascaras right here would be the first mascaras i repurchase if i had like if i got lost at sea and didn't have any mascara this is the rare beauty mascara and every time I use this, my lashes stay. The formula is good. It's black. The brush is good. Um, the, it doesn't flake. It doesn't chip off. It doesn't like run down your face. Love this. Along with the Thrive Lash Extension. This is a tubing mascara. This just brings your lashes to like that perfect, perfect, like separated, good look so that's all staying this is new i don't even think i've used this yet i bought this it came as like a free sample oh look at that brush i might like that it's like a plastic brush this is the mac extreme dimension okay so i'm gonna keep this because i haven't used it so yes and you know what's funny is i still have mascara like in my cart at sephora because i want to try more mascara like no we're not trying more mascara you psychopath um should i do blushes and bronzers should i do it should i do it i'm gonna do it just because i'm feeling very ruthless this will be like my whole makeup collection by the way all of it let's just let's just do this uh here we go 
This is NARS Deep Throw. This is my favorite blush of all time. I have beat this to hell and still love this blush. NARS Orgasm. This was like a point perk at Sephora. Also, just a good blush. We're going to keep it. Um, this is Wet n Wild Pinch Me Pink. Now, I go to pick this up all the time and I don't because I don't like it. So, we're going to get rid of it. It just doesn't, it doesn't do anything, you know, like... Nah. However, this one, this is Flower Beauty in PB4 Warm Hibiscus. I use this all the time. Um, it's like a shimmery blush. It's got some golden shimmers in there. Okay, so let's check Essence. Oh, that sounds really dry. Mm, no, that one's okay build that up to a look a flushed look this is my favorite drugstore blush of all time covergirl uh 320 love me uh i think this is my other like another i don't have a lot of blush because i'm not a big blush girl but this is makeup by mario like mauve i like this blush a lot too not going anywhere Cream blushes. I hate all of these blushes. I don't like cream blush. I've tried cream blush. I'm getting rid of all of these. So that is my entire blush collection right there. Everything else now is going to be bronzers. This bronzer is by Wet n Wild. Yes, I love this bronzer. And when it's all done, we're getting another one. Uh, this is the Nabla blush. Hmm... I'm going to keep it because I just don't use it enough. This is a Thrive blush. Oh, not blush. Bronzer. I'm sorry. It's actually really good. Keeping that. Uh, let's move on to Jouer. This is also just a really good bronzer. It's like warm and light. So you can bronze to your little heart's desire. When I tell you this is my favorite, this, this was my favorite bronzer for a really long time. This is the... Ulta matte bronzer it's just a really good shade and it's very easy to work with so yes staying this little hourglass blush that I keep saying blush bronzer it was my first hourglass a little 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 hourglass bronzer it's so pretty so keeping that uh oh Okay, so let's, this is a, my favorite cream bronzer. This is the Huda Beauty color in Fair. It's just a, a good cream bronzer. This was one of my first cream bronzers that I ever tried. And it remains to be like a top contender every single time I go through my stuff. Because I use it all the time. This is a very good drugstore bronzer guys drugstore don't sleep on the drugstore bronzers a lot of my favorites are drugstore bronzers so that's staying this is l'oreal this is new uh freshwear bronzer this is also anything makeup by mario is staying i love his products I, everything is really good quality staying this i think i'm gonna get rid of it this is the glowish bronzer um it's a baked bronzer it's just too light and I don't ever reach for it. And when I do blend it out, it almost looks, I don't know. I just don't like the tone. So that's going Fenty bronzer in Indus, India, in, oh my God, Heather, in the sun. I just love this bronzer so, so much. It's like, it's cool and it never looks muddy on me ever. So staying 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 so to round out the ending of my bronzers here is just some containers that are way too big uh this lumi bronzer i wore it today i still love this bronzer and it's not going anywhere uh this charlotte tilbury bronzer i bought this and i was like why is this so much money why is there so many good reviews then i used it and i realized how beautiful this bronzer is like, if you have somebody that wants, like, a present in the beauty department and you want to splurge a little, go Charlotte Tilbury because she knows what she's doing. 
Uh, this Marc Jacob bronzer is discontinued, but look at that color. It's just, and it's so finely milled. Like, blending this out is a dream. That just, ugh, beautiful. And then, I don't have a lot of cream products, just mainly because I'm not a huge fan of them. <laughs> I don't, I know that, like, especially cream blushes they really like kind of came back in and like rare beauty has them and I really tried to do it I just I I don't know I prefer especially blushes I prefer um powder products so but these are my two exceptions <laughs> um makeup makeup by Mario I don't use the brush the brush is the dumbest thing I don't know he could have saved everybody five dollars and not put this fucking brush on here but it's a cream bronzing stick that it just you don't have to work to bronze look at that how pretty is that and then these are really cool I like this because again the cream world kind of intimidates me so this is like a gel it's kvd um so like it's it's very light like you don't you can reapply this because it blends out so like effortlessly and it's not too much it's not too muddy like it's it's a safe space for me when it comes to cream products especially bronzers so yeah that's that's all welcome to the shit show that is highlighters um i have a problem and i know and i've decluttered this before but we're gonna keep going <laughs> So I have three Ofra, Ofra highlighters. I really like the Ofra formula a lot. So, and I think this was like, I don't know. I, I'm gonna, tr this one, this one, this one. Let's just see. This first one, I think is too white now like that's too much that one that's glazed donut the other two are okay they blend out pretty this is just looking silver on my face like this would look i'm gonna get rid of glazed donut the time has come to move on i'm shocked that i could get rid of an ofra highlighter because i really like that all right um this is the only loose highlighter that I have, so we're going to stick keep this. And I just love, it's like a champagne. It's really pretty. Keeping. Um, this is the J. Cat U Glow Girl Baked Highlighter. This I've had this highlighter since the dawn of time, I feel like. And it's a baked highlighter. It just, I can't get rid of that one. I use that one a lot, too. Let's do Urban Decay. This is hands down my all-time favorite highlighter in the color Sin. Um, it's a tie between this one and, where is it? The next one that I'm gonna show you, I'm not getting rid of this. The next one I'm gonna show you is Citrine by Jouer. I love this highlighter. This highlighter is like cracked and crumbled and I don't care, we're gonna use it until there's nothing left. This is just my favorite highlighter of all time. So let's do a oh, Benefit Cookie. This is a really pretty blinding highlight. It's like a pinky. This is new, so I'm not gonna get rid of that, but it's, look at that, wham! It's not as like white as this glazed donut one. I just feel like, see how this doesn't disappear. It's going to call that kind of blends into my skin. So I'm sticking with the decision. We're getting rid of that. Okay. Pixie by Petra. This is Delicate Dew. This is a gorgeous gold pink like duo. It's really pretty. But if I have that pink highlighter, do I need Ofra's pink highlighter? Because how often am I just look that formula is freaking amazing. Let me go back to that other pink highlighter because maybe we can get rid of one. So this is Pillow Talk. Oh, Pillow Talk, like Charlotte Tilbury. 
Oh no, they're two different pinks. Yeah, they're two different pinks. I'm gonna keep both of them. One, um, Blossom Glow is the cheapest of all of my highlighters, I think, and this is by Wet n Wild, and it's so good. So good. Keeping, um, ooh, we are coming. Okay, this is, like, a gorgeous natural highlighter by Makeup by Mario. Also keeping, this is makeup by Michaela glam light pressed highlight I love this one too I reach for it all the time this is Jeffree Star um this is like one of the only colored highlights I have and I love this as like an eyeshadow topper look at that yeah that's that's staying uh these flower beauty it's like the wettest looking highlight that I have I can't open this Again, with the pink. I don't use the gold, but I just... These blend into, like, perfection. So, keeping. Um, oh, this Catrice highlight is, like, three bucks, guys. Can you... Do you see that? Holy shit. Uh, that one's in Supreme Rose Beam. Yes. This one, that Supreme Rose Beam, though, you have to be a little bit careful because I notice that it can emphasize texture, but I don't care because um, I just go light-handed and I don't have that much texture on my cheeks. I love that highlighter. I think it's time to say goodbye. This was one of, like, the best highlighting palettes, but it's so old. This was really nice but I think it's time to go I think it's time to say goodbye um okay so these two I know I don't really follow this guy anymore I used to really like him but he just became too much for me like so dramatic too much like his era is over but I've gotten a lot of rid of his like a rid of a lot of his stuff but these two I cannot get rid of I wear them all the time. I still use them. So we're going to hang on to these. These are going to make it another round. Uh, these are Peach Goddess and Sarcophagus. If you are wondering, that's Peach Goddess and that's Sarcophagus. They're all going to like just look like shiny shit on my hands really. But you know, I figured I'd show you. Okay, and we're coming down to the last of it. Wow, guys. I used this today. This is like just a really good highlighter. It's the Carriages Horse and Carriage by Colourpop. I believe it's discontinued, but this formula is really good. It's a very pretty champagne and I just really like it. So I'm going to keep it. So let's talk these final two. This is Nabla's Ozone Skin Glaze. I don't ever use this. I'm going to give this a go because I just don't use it and I don't want to get rid of it because I don't have an opinion on it yet. So last but not least is this bad boy. Molten Glow by Jouer. This is very gold. This might be too gold for me. And I think that's why I don't use it is because it's just so gold. Mm. Yeah, you, it's hard to tell on camera but this is like yellow gold almost see you can kind of catch it there it's too dark time to go see you later see you later so that was that's the end okay guys and that completes my declutter I got rid of a lot of stuff and I'm really really I'm kind of like anxious because I've been collecting that makeup for a really long time and I spent a lot of money on that but if I'm not using it I, I and some of it most of it is expired honestly so we need to we need to get rid of it but I just want to show you my garbage can <laughs> filled to the brim I'm proud of myself for not being a hoarder because we don't need to be a hoarder so yes I hope you enjoyed this video um it's probably a long one so thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel let me know down below if there's anything that you would have kept or got rid of and in my next video we're gonna do my eyeshadow palettes which 
is scary because that is something that is like I love my eyeshadow palette so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys